All right, now that we have everything hooked up, EQ1, EQ2, EQ3, EQ4, we have MS1, uh, WCDMA, C pitch, best UARFCN data. We have LTE scan cells, MS2. We have LTE serving neighbor cells, MS3. And we have WCDMA serving slash active set plus neighbors, EQ4. EQ3 is the ODM phone, which is LTE. And EQ4, which is not the ODM phone, WCDMA, WCDMA. All right. So now the next thing we do. RRC established. If you have a script, we need a script to run these phones. So you get a script from an engineer or from whoever has a script that you need to use. So you go to control, just so you load the script, you go to control and config at the bottom. You go to service control designer. You go to file. You go to open. And the script that I will be using will be scope 36. So I scroll down all the way to the bottom. RRC I have a couple scripts, but the one I want is scope 36. Double click on that. RRC connection abnormal It'll open release. up. We'll click on the first start recording, go over to the properties box, scroll up till we see directory, click on directory inside this area, three dots will pop up, click the dots, and we have a folder, whatever site that we're doing, we create a folder. So I have an Asheville 1216 folder. RRC established. Click that, hit OK. Now it's ready. It's in there. See if we do that. Asheville 1216. RRC connection abnormal release. Then what we'll do, we'll go to the map and we'll make sure that we're on the map. There's a green dot showing where I am. And to make sure to bring that up, we'll bring up the blue exclamation point right here, which is add and edit themes. Click on that. Another box will pop up. We'll go to coverage layer. Double click on that. We go to the first one. Double click on that. We'll make sure the system is WCDMA. Boom. WCDMA. We'll make sure mobile is one. Uh, it changed on me, so let me change it back. WCDMA. Okay. Make sure the mobile is MS1. And we want MS1 because the scanner with the globe. That's the GPS. And this is how we change the GPS so we can see ourselves. So make sure WCDMA is for MS1. And what we'll do underneath on this next box here, if it doesn't say SC best SC, what we'll do, we go to the first area here. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll click it and we'll scroll all the way down using this arrow here, this stuff here the scroll bar so go all the way down till you see SC best SC pick it hit select now it's here we go down to click OK and then an hourglass will pop up sometimes it takes a little while sometimes it don't mine did it real fast and then we hit close and now we see ourselves on the map RRC established right there so now we have the scanner hooked up with the phones we have RRC connection abnormal release. We have the GPS on the map, and if we go to in an overview, overview, we have everything going. So on WCDMA, they'll give us scrambling codes, and what the scrambling codes are, they let us know which sector that we're on. So if the Alpha sector had a scrambling code of 287. I know I'm on that that sector because 287 is at the top. Anything at the top is the sector that we're on. And this is the signal strength right here. So, I'm on fourth, I'm on 287 with a pretty good signal. And the same thing for LTE, but instead of L, instead of uh, scrambling code, we have PCI. So we look at CI, which is the same thing. CI and PCI are the same thing. RRC established. If Alpha Sector was 120, 
now I'm on the right sector 120 for LTE 287 for WCMA now once you get the sectors that scrambling codes and the PCI's from the engineer <coughs> excuse me once you get the PCI from the, from the in the scrambler code from the engineer RRC established. everything has to match up perfectly so if he tells you if the if in the email it says alpha sector is supposed to be 287 for WCDMA and 120 for LTE then in the, if you don't if you don't see 287 and 120 then the sectors are swapped and the site needs to be looked at so that's just something to look out for make sure you don't have any swap sectors so now once we have that together we go to control and config where our script is and what we're gonna do we're gonna start the drive we're gonna start recording so what we do we go to the top where this red circle is right here we'll click it another box will pop up so we'll go to browse I will go over to my desktop click desktop I will find my Asheville 1216 folder which is right here double click on it and then I will go down to save RRC established save it that will pop back up so now it is Asheville desktop Asheville 1216 and I will click OK and my red dot will turn into a black square and then on the script page I go to the top where it says script and run and the script will run and while the script is running the two phones will dial call, call, call. RRC established call set up call esta call established call established so now it's running everything is running good I will go to the map go to the map and the route the route that sh the route that we have I'll show you how to load the route um, but we'll do this this is what we'll do for right now so what we'll do we'll let it count for 10 minutes go for 10 minutes we'll stop it up here stop that so my red circle comes back it might take a little bit but wait till the red circle comes back before you do anything Sometimes when the when you first stop it, it takes a while to finish um, stopping, but it will eventually stop. <coughs> Excuse me. There it goes. It's stop. Now we go to control and config. We'll go up to blue square. Stop the script. Call the phones end. will hang up. Okay. So, confession. I'm not really in Asheville. I'm in Raleigh area right now. So, when I add the route to the map, it won't show me the route. But, if you're in the area you're supposed to be and you pull up the right map, it will show the map. So, what we'll do just so we can see the map I will stop my scanner go to scan right click stop WCMA and you do the same thing for all of them you don't have to right now but that's how you do it right click stop GSM so what I'll do, I'll add in RRC established. I'll add in the route that I had to do yesterday. And it was rally. So I go up here to the layer control. 
layer control I click layer control and when I click it this layer control area comes up I go to add and then I go to here this will pop up so I'll go to desktop arrow button drop down go to desktop scroll all the way up to desktop and then I'll find my folder where I put my route at and I'll do 60 I believe yesterday I did 606 double click the route 606 double click it and now it's added ride drive route 506 Raleigh 5 I'm sorry Raleigh 606 hit OK and then what I'm gonna do just to show you what the route looks like I'm gonna zoom out zoom out zoom out and there's my route zoom in zoom in zoom in so if I was in this location right now there will be a green dot somewhere on this route wherever I am that's what a green dot would be and then once you start driving the green dot starts moving so if I was here and I started driving you will see a trail following me <coughs> now every time you stop it and start it back up it erases the green dot so you have to remember what, what roads you drove already because you don't really want to drive the road over again so just keep a mental note of where you've been so that's how you add the route that's how you start the equipment up that's how you make sure everything is working and that is how you use the Tim's with the kit if you have any questions you can comment below and that'll work all right talk to you later